If any of you watch my Disney After Hours vlog once upon a time, you may recall that I hinted towards the fact that I got into a car accident that morning, and then I hinted towards it again when I went to Epcot for Flower and Garden. But I never actually dove headfirst into what all happened on camera yet, so strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, because we are about to go 88 miles per hour back in time to when I got into my first real car accident. So to set the stage, this was late February of 2020. A simpler time, just about a month before the infamous coronavirus started to close everything in the world down, including Walt Disney World, which just so happened to be my job at the time. And on the very special 28th day, Magic Kingdom was hosting the ever so popular Villains After Hours party, which I was very lucky enough to partake in, as I'm sure a lot of you have already seen. And if you haven't watched the vlog of it yet, go and give it a watch, because it is quite a fun one. So it's the morning of around 8.30 a.m. and I'm making my way to the park. Now, the way that I actually traveled to Disney was essentially the back roads behind Magic Kingdom because, well, that was the area that I lived in at the time. So as I'm driving, I'm in a single lane road going past the Grand Floridian Polynesian, which later goes on to a three lane road right by a speedway that I'm sure a lot of you Disney goers have seen before. And boy oh boy, this is where shit gets fun. So how this all went down was that there was a woman in front of me going extremely slow, which to me was beyond surprising for any driver in Florida. Like, really quickly, let me make this perfectly clear. To all of you Floridians watching, you guys are some of the nicest people that I've ever met, but y'all can't drive for shit. Now, for me to get to Magic Kingdom, starting from the speedway, I had to eventually make a U-turn in the left lane about half a mile or so ahead, so obviously, I needed to get in the left lane. So we're both approaching the three-lane road in the speedway, and she immediately gets into the center lane. Now, of course, I needed to get in the left lane, so at first, I was just going to nosy my way over to the left lane, but I decided that because she was still going relatively slow and out of worry that I would miss someone in my blind spot and possibly cause an accident myself, I decided to just stay in the right lane and eventually pass her. So I start speeding up, you know, getting ready to pass this woman, and at the exact second that I am parallel to her, she decides to start merging into my lane. And if any of you are lost right now, again, she's in the center, I'm in the right. And the second, the split second, I am lined up with her, she decides to start drifting into my lane and hits me. Now, this woman was actually coming at me rather quickly, so I didn't even have enough time to react, you know, honk my horn, get this woman's attention. So she ends up hitting me with a pretty decent amount of force, which causes me to lose control and start going towards the left lane. And praise the Lord that no one was in the left lane, otherwise I would have ended up hitting someone and probably could have caused some harm. So I was eventually able to regain control of the steering, and we were just coming up on the speedway, so we both pull in there because... We were just able to. So we get out of our cars and I ask her if she's okay and she replies with yeah, but you know what she does next? Like, no joke, just guess. Guess what she does next? She decides to start freaking blaming me, saying that I hit her. She's literally like, yo man, you hit me. And it was in that moment that I wanted to go like full Super Saiyan on this dumb ass. But because I have a brain and a heart unlike this woman, I simply replied with, no, you tried merging into my lane the second we're parallel to each other, and you hit me. And yet she's still telling me that I hit her. Like, it was just freaking ridiculous. Now, because this was my first real accident, I didn't know what to freaking do. I didn't even know who to call. Like, hell, who was it supposed to call? My parents? The police? The freaking Ghostbusters? Who? Now, because they were near, I decided to give Disney security a call, which was my first mistake, because I'm gonna be honest, Again, they're really nice, but Disney security is an absolute freaking joke. So after I did that, I gave my parents a call, freaking hysterical, because again, I didn't know what the hell to do. Like, I was just so freaking upset that I just wanted to leave. I just wanted to go back home to Ohio. But thankfully, my parents were able to help calm me down and told me what to do in this situation. So a little bit later, the security guy gets there and starts spewing a bunch of BS, giving me an insurance claim paper and blah, 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 telling me that because there was only cosmetic damage, thankfully, that I didn't need to call Florida Highway Patrol, which is what I should have done in the first place because it would have saved a bunch of headaches two weeks afterwards. Then the lady and I started exchanging information, and yet she is still living this pathetic fantasy of me hitting her. But I just said whatever because at that point, I didn't even care about what she had to say. So we eventually go on our way, and it was at that point that I was just so upset that I just wanted to go back home. I didn't even want to do anything. But thankfully, I was able to eventually pluck up the courage and just go to MK. And thankfully, I did because I ended up really enjoying that day and ended up creating what would become my most viewed video yet. In fact, I think last time I checked, we were sitting at around 730, which is just insane in my opinion. Now, we're going to fast forward a little bit because, again, since I didn't call Florida Highway Patrol, which was, again, big mistake, 
and let them run all the info and stuff and make the decision on who hit who. I had to fill out a whole bunch of insurance crap and talk to Progressive like three times. No joke, three times. But thankfully, the insurance agent that I talked to actually resides in Florida, so she completely understood my situation. But that wasn't the worst part. Because if you saw my Epcot Flower and Garden vlog, you'll know that I mentioned having to talk on the phone for about an hour with, you guessed it, her insurance company. And here's the thing, I could tell that this guy could tell that I was just completely fed up at that point. Like seriously, all I wanted to do was just go to Epcot and enjoy my weekend. And enjoy my weekend I did, because I actually booked a stay at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, which I also vlogged. Go check them out. So yeah, I guess if you live in Central Florida and land yourself in a car accident, which wasn't your fault, mind you, I guess book a stay at a Disney Resort to relieve some of the stress. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take it easy, everyone. Stay beautiful.